Now I Remember You, McAllister, by Robert Geary. Now I remember you, McAllister, with whom I played those games of cautious chess, moving our wooden, stylized kings and queens over a battlefield of polished wood, safe in your very comfortable room. Your fire screen, your domesticated fire, your draught screen, screened by curtains from all draughts that sneaked by rare chance past close-fitting doors, good Scottish tradesmen of the Regency made out of honest wood for such as you. Yes, you were cautious never accepted a gambit, guarded your king behind three permanent pawns, trapped in his own defence, till I, your guest, would with cheap tactics ding his castle down and crudely give him checkmate in his keep. You would get out the board, glance round the room, Take reassurance from your rows of books that formed an inner padding on your walls, an antiseptic contact with the world. Rambo and Dostoevsky cleanly wrapped, no fester stain, no epileptic froth. A white paged burns, no Ayrshire mud on him, Beowulf. Edited with clever notes, well aired, without a whiff of fishy smell. The processed world within your library condensed into ideas, served in books, nourished in your mind. But did you realise how Shelley felt? Yes. You were sensitive, but was it real to you, I would insist. Here you would rearrange your well-carved night, enjoy its surface with your fingertips. I would be cautious of vulgarity, feel like a draught that somehow had sneaked in. You would shiver slightly, make a cautious move, adjust the fire screen. Are you warm enough? The fire would glow and all be well again. Now a slow letter brings me news of you. Last May I read your room, your books and you received a direct hit from a very large bomb. Strange. Whereas on these snow-covered plains of Central Europe, I cough and cough and cough. 